Can you also book a time in the calendar so Sarah knows about it? If it books the calendar or not? And fortunately, it did. AI agents. Everyone is talking about them, but not a lot of us know how to build them. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can build a personal assistant for CEOs, CFOs that can not just book meetings, calendars for them, but it can also help them search anything on Google just on their phone. So let's start. So I've used any end to build this workflow. How I'm doing it is it's starting with a Telegram trigger. So this is how the bot will know what you want to do. You'll connect this with your Telegram account. How you're going to do it? Uh, we have all the documentation around here. The good thing about NNN is it teaches you everything step by step, so you don't have to do a lot of struggle. If you click on this open docs, you'll see how a Telegram trigger is generated. You need to do a bot father, and then you'll do new bot, and you'll get your uh, API keys from Telegram, and then you can name your bot whatever you want. If you want to go into more steps, let me know. I'll do it in future videos. Because if I do everything, it will make the video super long. Once you have connected your Telegram account, you'll go back, you'll keep this trigger on message because that's what we want. Whenever somebody sends a message, the bot responds back to them. The next node that we're using is going to be a switch node because we want this bot to work with text and we want it to work with voice also. Right now, this with just a Telegram trigger, the bot will not or the, the workflow will not understand that we want it in the both ways so now if i go to the switch one you'll see it says could should be text or voice right so we'll be creating two further workflows for both of them this one you can see it says text this one you can see it, it says voice so now if it's a text node we need to take it into a edit field menu you can change the names whatever do you want uh, now this is a manual mapping and we're telling it to send a message now, because we are we're using our Telegram trigger, that's why we need to have this here, which will tell this field that we're using Telegram trigger. The data is going to be in JSON and we want this text to come up. Once it gets the text, it will go down to the AI agent, which is connected to ChatGPT, but we'll come down to this one a bit later. Now, when the voice one comes out, we are triggering it to download the recording from Telegram again. This file ID is coming from a Telegram trigger, item, JSON message, and then voice file ID. Moving further, this recording that it has downloaded goes to OpenAI Whisper, which is basically transcribing the recording. Once it transcribes the recording, it can go into our AI agent. We have to do this because ChatGPT will not directly understand what we are saying. So we need to transcribe it into a text format. Once the AI agent receives the input, that's where we add our chat model, which is OpenAI. Uh, we're using Gemini 4.0 Mini because this uses a lot less tokens than any other uh, GPT model. Then we have a window buffer. This one is the most easiest one because this is given us directly by init in. Uh, so you don't have to connect any APIs to it. Uh, we'll add our Telegram trigger. Again, uh, it will pick up the chat ID, which is coming from this AI agent. So now we move on to AI agent. This is the most important one. So I want you to focus a lot. Uh, you can choose any of these here, but I would highly recommend you to go with tools agent because these are a bit complex and you'll have to do a bit more things. And because we are a beginner, I don't want you to get involved in this right now, but we'll do it in future videos for sure. Now, this is where you define your prompt. Uh, you can do connected chat trigger note. This will automatically pick the text that we have in our last note. However, we want to define what this AI agent should do. So we have done define below and this is the JSON text that is coming from the last note. Now, this is where you're going to give the system a prompt. Uh, we're telling it that you're a helpful personal assistant. You have access to the following tools, Airtable, send emails, get emails, create event tools without attendees, create event tools with attendees, get Google Calendar tools, Wikipedia and SERP AI, right? And it's very important to tell them that where you live and uh, what is the time right now. You've explained today is, you can see the date right here. Now, if we go back, uh, this window buffer memory will store all the messages, still five messages that we've talked to the chatbot and it's going to store it here. Now we've connected our air table. You can see this is where we have connected our air table. Again, you'll have to get the API tokens. You can read these docs here and you'll get the API tokens. It's pretty easy to do. This one, tools description. We again want to do it manually because we want the AI agent to understand what this node will be used for. So if I if I do it, read contacts from AI table. In this table, we have all the contacts to the store uh, that is relevant for the AI agent. 
uh, and then I have a table saved. Uh, I don't want to filter it with formula, so I've not done it uh, like that. Uh, let me show you how the air table will look like. My air table, and you can see all the information, the, all the demo information that I've input here. The last one is mine, so that it can uh, send me emails directly or or book a meeting with me, and I know the bot works. So this is uh, how it is picking up. The next one is going to be uh, get emails which is connected from a Gmail. Uh, now we've specified it, get emails, Gmail tool is used to get messages based on the query. So if somebody wants to know that what kind of email uh, I have sent to them, they can talk to the Telegram bot and they can ask directly, can you tell me what email I received from Kamal Best? And the bot will tell them this is the email that they've got. The resource we're going to keep it as message and the operation is going to be get many because we want to get as much as we can. Uh, you can put a limit here. If you want, you can put a number here by 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, I have made it a bit dynamic right now so that the bot decides what the limit is going to be. And, uh, we have a sender name also so that the bot can dynamically decide what the sender name is that the bot doesn't stuck to one sender name. So let's say if I've write, written my name here and if I want to ask the bot that tell me what is the email I received from Olivia, the bot will not be able to answer because I've specified a sender name here. This is why we are uh, making it a bit dynamic. So whatever name we say, if it's in our air table, uh, we have received an email from it, the bot will be able to tell us. The next one is send emails where you'll be able to send emails by talking to the bot. Uh, send email tool is used to send emails to the relevant contact from the contact database, which is basically our air table. Uh, and this from AI is a good feature from uh, any that you can use to do a lot of uh, dynamic automations, right? So I'm just explaining it to from AI email. So this means that this is where the email ID will come up. The email address from the Airtable tool. So basically whatever emails that I've saved in uh, Airtable, uh, the bot understand that. Now from the Airtable tool, I have to send emails out. And the subject, again, the email subject we're sending to the email out, which this, what this means is if you say send an email for tomorrow morning's dinner, uh, sorry, for tomorrow morning's breakfast, the bot will automatically understand you're talking about breakfast and it will write that as the subject. The next one is going to be email type, which is text because uh, it's obvious. And then the message is going to be from AI email body. Whatever you say will be converted into the email body. Uh, it's important to do this append any uh, attribution otherwise it will give its name in the end of the uh, video uh, in the in the end of the email saying that it was sent by n n moving on uh, we have two kind of calendars here one is with attendees one is without an attendees so if i want to book a me time there are there is going to be no attendees there and this is where it will work i uh, will connect the google calendars again to connect them uh, you can directly sign in with Google and, and it will work. If you're doing it locally on your system, there are a few OAuth uh, authentications that you have to do, but you can easily read them in the more info path. Uh, we are again going to make the description manual because uh, we want the AI agent to understand what this tool is about. The Google Talent tool is used to set up events where there are no attendees required, right? Uh, and this is my Google Calendar uh, and, it, and test is basically what is the name of my Google Calendar. I quickly show you. Okay, so you can see N8 end test right here. From AI start time, from AI end time, this is again, we're making it dynamic so that uh, it can be any time uh, and the bot is able to understand it. Uh, and then the summary, a detailed summary about the event. Whatever you're going to tell Telegram, it's going to be the detailed summary. Next is exactly the same, but this one is with attendees. Uh, okay, moving on. We have connected Wikipedia and we have connected Serve AI also. The reason for connecting them is if somebody wants to talk to their Telegram bot and ask them what's the weather today, uh, the SERP AI will be able to do it. If somebody wants to understand maybe which movie star did a movie, Wikipedia will be able to tell them, right? So this is how the whole workflows work. And in the end, we are outputting the message into Telegram, right? Telegram trigger, I, uh, JSON message chat idea that this is the output. Now, if I show you how this works, basically the bot that we are using right now, and if I send a message, can you book a meeting with Kamal Best for tomorrow asking him for lunch? The bot is going to work automatically on the back end and uh, you won't see it right now here because the uh, scenario is active. If it was inactive, then I'll have to run this test workflow and then it will send the email out. But right now, because the scenario is active, it will automatically run the scenario. Okay, so as you can see, it has said I successfully booked a lunch meeting for Kamal Besh Feb 4th, which is tomorrow. 
uh, from 12 to 1, uh, hear the details and uh, they even send it to me on email. And if I go to my calendar and if I go to 4th of Feb, you can see lunch with Kamal Bash 12 to 1. It has booked it, right? Uh, can you book a meeting with Jessica for tomorrow to understand what's going on in the current project? And I'll open my telegram here. You can see I've sent this audio right here. It's going to process back in uh, in the backend. Okay, so while building it, I got this error and it's great because now I can show you. Uh, we got the error because we're using this text right here, but now we're using recording also. So we can't use this one. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll remove this part from here and now it understands, right? And the other issue would be having is in the, uh, okay, I think it, this would work. So now if we test the workflow, outstanding issues okay let me see let me just test this step once uh the workflow is gone so now if i save it it will be saved let's make it active again and we're going to talk to the telegram one again and we'll see if there are any errors coming up if there will be we'll talk to it again can you send an email to sarah for tomorrow to book a meeting about the project so it has sent a email to sarah davis which is going to project a uh, which is requesting a meeting for tomorrow. Can you also book a time in the calendar so Sarah knows about it? If it books the calendar or not. And fortunately it did, 10 to 11. So now if I go to my calendar, you can see 10 to 11 is the time with the meeting. If I specify it at that time, it will it will book the, the meeting at that time. So this is how we've built our annotated If you want to learn how I'm building these AI agents and you want my templates for free, make sure to subscribe to this account.